With most of the pieces in place and the wiring reconnected, I can hardly wait to see if the bike will start. In this episode of Presto Changeo, I'll do some tidying up and run a smoke test. I did a few things to tidy up back here. Uh, I didn't put it on the time lapse. It would not have been very interesting. But I um, pulled the two antenna cables through and rewrapped the uh, harness here. That wrapping can be um, untaped and put back. Uh, I pulled the wires for the moto lights. In, and I'm going to hook them into accessory three. And I put the wire trough cover back on here where it's really narrow. The clips don't want to hold very well. And so what Harley does is put tie wraps here and here to hold that, keep it from popping open. So I replaced, I did that also. I did the uh, change the spark plugs and here is the old forward spark plug wire. You see it rubbed on the tank um, down to the inner conductor. So I bought a new forward spark plug wire. And I noticed there's a difference in the Christmas tree attachment here. The old one is just a simple Christmas tree. The new one you see has an arm that comes down and holds this and therefore the cable is lo held lower and some of the bend um, is taken out of it so that the uh, so that it'll stay away from the tank. I guess this uh, this is a lesson learned here. I also wired in the uh, USB power that I bring up to the handlebars. I got to put the ram mount for the uh, for the cell phone here. Uh, notice I've got no there's no speaker grill on the right side but I installed the speaker grill on the left. Turns out there was another left speaker grill in the right speaker grill box and uh, it was the part number on the outside of the box was certainly the the right number but it was the wrong grill. One thing I did in tidying up here under the seat is tie wrap the cables back because getting they always seem to get in the way of putting the uh, seat screw in and I hope that will get them out of the way. I connected in the uh, moto lights to a, a, the uh, accessory 3 relay so that's cleaned up I think next I'll secure the tank. Up front, I extended the wire for the cigarette lighter, and it goes up and around and snakes in and up on top here and snakes in here to uh, the wiring harness and then I worked on arranging the wiring harness 
underneath the radio in such a way that it will stay back from the headlights and that there's enough uh, there's enough room for the CB cable uh, just tidied it up I spent about an hour replacing the screen protector on the radio and I tell you it is just so tedious and difficult um, there was a scratch on the one I took off but this one I've got bubbles under it and I've had it up and down the instructions say that the protector is going to be smaller than the original it's not it's larger and it squeezes under the black plastic cover it's just awful and I see that there's when I get it out here in the light that there's a lot of bubbles I may uh, pull that off again This is going to be a smoke test. I don't have everything bolted in place because if it doesn't work, I'm going to have to take stuff apart. I don't have the turn signals hooked up yet. They go through the outer fairing, and so, um, which I don't have yet. So I put the passing lamps signals, plug those in, and. The tank is just sitting there. So let's let's see what happens. And I'm in the same exact camp as he is. I, I well, the radio was working. Design, That's good. That's why I do what I do. Uh, we can't, however, conflate the two uh, of technological progress and, and bad design. I mean, this is this is exactly the radio is what coming I, up I, fine. I is, you know, I didn't want I'm to going to uh, Facebook and Google and Instagram how to have to hold the they already know how to clutch in the camera. Let's see day. what happens. What I wanted to do is to expand those when I start it to the rest of us. I put on the seat and the tank, tightened it all up. You may have seen in the time lapse that I had to tank, take the tank off. The uh, brake lines and the clutch line weren't in the right place over on the right side and were uh, binding when I tried to put the tank on. But I got that straightened out. I secured the radio and the headlight. You just can't imagine how much simpler and easier it is to put the headlight in it, compared to the earlier models where you had the headlight and the outer fairing and you had to get it all to crunch in and hook on to a hook, two hooks, and it just was never ever easy. This is so simple, so better. So, so much better. The only piece missing is the outer fairing which requires three different colors of paint. In the next episode of Presto Change-O, 
I'll attach everything to the outer fairing and do the final assembly.